and welcome to the third video for the beginner knitting on 9 inch circular needles tutorial this is me just sharing how I knit my socks I hope you enjoy it I'm not a professional this is just how I do it how I prefer to do it so I hope you enjoy doing it this way you should be looking something like this if you've been following the tutorial so far so we've done the rib we have done the leg and now this time please excuse these socks because they are well worn <laughs> I wear my socks every day we're now going to be doing the hill flap which is just like a square at the back of the hill and then the hill turn which is this part here where you actually turn the hill so it comes round the corner and then we'll, we will be doing the decreases because you've got a lot of width there so we'll be doing the decreases to bring it back down to your original stitch count that you were doing at the top of the sock so that's what we're doing so first of all if you've been reading the instructions on the pattern we need to find out, think about whether you're up to this I bet you're getting a bit nervous now so I have three questions to ask you to see if you'll be able to do it. Are you ready? Can you do a knit stitch? Yes, because you've done them here. Can you do a purl stitch? Yes, because we've done rib. Can you slip a stitch from one stitch to the other, from one needle to the other? Yes, you can. I'm sure you can. So that is it. You are qualified to do this next manoeuvre. <laughs> So what I would say is to save any confusion you might want to look at the um, instructions below I've put for the different sizes so if you wanted to copy those down because we are changing some of the things that are on the pattern because it wasn't written for a 9 inch sock so you may want to just jot that down I'm, I'll be giving the stitch counts for the middle size, the 64, it, the first six, sorry, the 64 stitch sock, the middle size is the one I'm doing, but I will try and give you all the other ones as well. But just in case you do get confused, you might want to just stop the video for a moment and just make a few notes so you can tick them off for yourself. Okay, so if you'd like to do that, I'll see you in a, oh, well, I'll speak to you in a minute. Okay, so we're all ready to start. So we've just come to the beginning of our row again and we have a stitch marker. You will need another stitch marker and that is because we're not we're going to work on the same needle so we're going to have this to go to the other side so we know where the end of the row is because in the pattern where it says knit till the end of the row it doesn't mean all the way around because like I say we're just doing this part so we've come down here and we've just stopped there and we're going to do this this comes later we're just doing this part so we're going to leave half of the stitches are going to be unstitched at the moment so the first instructions for the heel flap says with wrong side facing so we want to turn it around and knitting flat on the back needle, we don't need to do that because we just got one needle. So row one, knit three. So just pass that marker over first of all, because we're going to be just working on these ones here. So we need to knit three. and then purl to the end of the row now the end of the row for us as I say I want only want to be working on 32 stitches so if I take three of the knit stitches away from that that's 29 stitches to purl if you are doing the small size that means that you will be purling 25 if you're doing the large size that means you'll be purling 33 so I need to purl 29 
need some music or something, don't I, when we're doing this? <laughs> oh, it seems so quiet. But then is it annoying for you if I count every single stitch? <laughs> Have a count up because I've lost count. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, Let's just check that. Okay, so I've got 32 stitches on there. If you're still doing yours, just pause the video for a moment. And then we're going to put another stitch marker on there to show those are the stitches we are going to be working on. And we'll turn, turn the work round because we're going to go back again. Oops, mixed up. Right, so on row two we need to purl three. So bring that yarn forward and purl three. One, two, three. Knit one, yarn to the back again, knit one. Slip one. We need to slip this purl wise. So you're gonna put your needle in as if you're going to purl it, but you're just going to slip it off the end so it just goes over to the other needle. And then we've got to carry on repeat from the star, so that's from the knit one, so until the last three stitches to that marker. So we're just going to knit one and then slip one purl wise all the way along. So knit one, slip one, knit one, slip one. Knit one, slip one, 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 knit one. One, whoops, that was drop one. Don't drop them, slip them. <laughs> knit one, slip one, knit one, slip one, knit one, slip one, until you get two, three left on your needle. And then knit the last three. So there's your marker, and we're just going to knit three. One, two, three. Turn it around again because we're going to go back again. Row three, purl to the knit. Th 
sorry, knit three, purl to the end of the row, yarn to the back, knit three, one, two, three, yarn forward, knit to the end of the row, or in our case, to the next marker. That was a little one that gave me trouble last time. So just purling all the way along. And this should be doing interesting things if you're using different colour yarns. <laughs> There's going to be some interesting patterns start to happen on the other side because we're doing different stitches. So then we're knitting, sorry, so we're purling until we get to that marker again and then turn the work around again. Okay, so row four, purl three, yarn forward. One, two, Slip one, knit one to the last three stitches again. So I take that yarn to the back and we're going to slip one, then knit one, slip and knit. Remember we're slipping as if you could do in a purl stitch. Slip one, slip one, slip one, slip one, slip one, slip one, slip, knit, slip, knit. All the way along till you get to the last three stitches, and then you will knit three. That's one, two, three. Turn your work around again. So you've got you're looking at the inside again. So it says repeat rows one to four, six times if you're doing the smallest one, seven times if you're doing the middle size and eight times if you're doing the largest size. So I need to do that seven more times. So knit three. Oops, take that to the back. We're going to knit three, one, two, three, purl to the end of the row. 
yarn forward and then purl to the end of the row. If you'd like to have some of your own music playing <laughs> while we do this, or perhaps you just want to concentrate, and perhaps I should just, we should have some quiet. I don't know. Everyone's different, aren't they? That was my wrist just cracking then. <laughs> Sorry. I'm falling apart. I've still got my finger bandaged up. From where I hurt myself cooking last week. So we're just purling all the way along to the marker again. I think what I shall do is put timestamps down below so that you know when different sections, a new section starts. That might be useful for you. So that if you are doing the third one, so if you are doing the smallest size, then you won't have to watch all the ones I'm doing and you can skip ahead. Or if you are doing the larger size and you wanted to watch this again and wanted to go back and watch me do it again, do it with me, you can. So we've just, that's the first row we've pulled to the end. So we're going to turn it around again. I'm going to take that marker off for the moment because we've got this, you can see where we're stopping and starting there. So that's not going to get in my way. I'm just going to take that off. So I'm going to start marking it down on my pattern so I know where I'm up to. So we are going to purl three on for the start with. So Yarn forward, purl three. And then we're going to knit one, slip one. So yarn to the back. Knit. Oh, slip it purl ways. Knit, slip. Knit, slip. Knit, slip, knit, slip, knit, slip. Knit, slip, knit one, slip. Until we get to the end and then we're going the last three we're going to knit before the marker. One, two, three, and we can get rid of that marker as well because as I say once again this side we can clearly see where those stitches are. We're not going to carry on, there's going to be a gap there. So turn it round, I'll mark off, I've just done the second row, third row. Is knit three and purl to the end. So I move my yarn forward, I'm going to knit three. My yarn caught up, my yarn forward, do purl, 
and then pearl to the end. See, this isn't as bad as you thought it was going to be, is it? <laughs> it's just about following the pattern, keeping an eye, like I say, I'm a true believer in marking off on the pattern to where you are. Or if you don't like marking your pattern on a separate piece of paper and just doing it literally one stitch at a time. There's nothing hard about it, nothing you can't do. It's just about knowing where you are in the pattern and doing what it tells you to do. I don't know if there are any patterns for sock knitting on actual nine inch needles. I've always just adapted the pattern to how I can do it on these. So I started off with DPNs, I didn't get on with them, but that doesn't mean to say you wouldn't if you want to try them on another sock and find your favorite way. So we are to the end, so pearl to the end on this one. Turn it around and mark off row three. So row four, we're going to pearl. So we pearl three. And then slip one, knit one, just take the yarn to the back, slip it as if purling, knit, slip, knit, slip, knit, slip, knit, slip, knit. You might have to manhandle your needles a bit at this point. So I've got mine, oops, sorry, knocked the camera. I've got mine sticking out a bit. So just, just twiddle it a little bit. And we are going to the last three stitches on this. So did I do last? So I need to knit one. And then last three stitches is knit three. So one, two, three, and this is our fourth row. So that means we've done one repeat. Oh, to last three, I've gone too far. I got carried away in my thoughts. <laughs> 